All right, 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 all right. So as normal, it's September 4, 2021, the draft lottery date in this virtual basketball game. Welcome back to another episode of Vibing Out with me as we continue whatever the hell uh, existing on this YouTube channel. And uh, today's story is a sad story, of course. The sad story of Isaiah Thomas's past about four years of his career has seemingly came to an end. Now, I've thought about doing this career simulation. It's actually been one of the few that I've been actually prioritizing doing potentially, you know, in the near future over and over over again for the past uh, like i've thought about it over and over again for the past like two months because you know we know the the hypotheticals and how isaiah thomas has been injured and all that but now dan greenberg says as the leader and driver of the isaiah thomas bandwagon i understand it's my responsibility i'm assuming he's trying to say that you know it's his responsibility to keep isaiah or get him back in the league but isaiah himself responds let me zoom even even more in for uh you know climactic i always appreciate the love bro i've tried to make it happen but it's over for coming back killer i don't think i've ever said kill it in my life yep so uh, if if i'm not if this is isn't like some sort of like morse code to a you know decipher i don't think isaiah himself seems to be i mean obviously if he gets called up tomorrow and they're like yo we need you nba team then he'll be back in the nba but um it seems as if it's probably it so now as the title says probably something along the lines of this uh let's run it back one of the most incredible players to watch of the past decade solely because of the fact that he averaged 30 points a game in one season at five foot nine here he is at the number 10th in the draft express rank 22 years old five foot nine as you know probably uh he was the the 60th pick in the 2011 draft this is the official ai from that draft class and also before i go any further i, I wanted to shout out a jfk experience said i was eating a pretzel with mario chalmers when you reminded me to like this guy really really confused me because he posted this 43 seconds after the video was uploaded so you really 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 just threw me for a loop here like how were you just thinking of this what is wrong with you people but then again what's wrong with me because i probably would have done the same thing it in college from washington he averaged 22 points 10 assists this season well that's pretty good but he shot 38 percent g Jesus. I believe he's a 73 overall or some of that nature. But his ceiling is Derrick Rose All NBA. If I could see this man be five foot nine, Derrick Rose, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just gonna be happy. What else am I gonna say? I don't got any cool adjectives for that one. I'm just gonna be in, engulfed in happiness. Good leaper. I'm sure he helps him crash the boards. Really, what did he average in boards? He averaged four actually. It's not that bad. Make most reads on offense. Good vision. Decent handle. He's having a decent handle as a point guard really a positive. But then weaknesses. He's not good at defense. He's not good at defense, and he's not good at defense. Basically, is what they're saying. This kind of nuts wasn't Muggsy Bogues' strength being good at defense and he was five foot three. I was about to say like, oh yeah, you know I mean? Isaiah five foot nine and like, you know I mean? There's your exception, but I, Muggsy, what the hell? I believe my, he was another player that Michael Jordan ruined the career of though. All right. Uh, so yeah, as you saw, he was ranked 10th in the draft lottery. Obviously I'm not going to count down all the way to number one, but the draft lottery. Oh man, look at that number eight Knicks pick via Dallas. It's lower than the Knicks pick or higher than the Knicks pick itself. Oh man. Shout out to Dallas. Thank you guys for the pick. It's looking like the Knicks actually won the poor. Look, neither team won the trade, but the Knicks signed Julius. Randall and Emmanuel. Look, I don't know. He actually might go to my Knicks. Let's see. So in that range, I mean, it definitely Bulls is high high enough. You know, he can go up there. Pistons, Spurs, Knicks, Hornets, Grizzlies, Jazz, Knicks again, Thunder, sure. Uh, yeah, there's a couple. Let's see. Where the hell is IT getting drafted? It's that time of the year again. 2021 draft. The first. Imagine he goes first. Oh, yeah. And it's Sacramento, too. That would have been ironic. So Evan Mobley goes number. Oh, my God. I just saw that they got Sekou. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Are they going to show Sekou again? No, they're showing a different porter, but I just seen Seku Smith pop up at the bottom. R.I.P. Seku Smith. Oh my God. I, I completely forgot he was even on here. Zach Harper with Kyle Lowry in the twilight of his career. Wait, Kyle Lowry, Washington. What the hell? Where the hell did Westbrook go? He traded Westbrook to the Raptors for Lowry. Wow. R.I.P. In case you don't know though, R.I.P. Seku Smith. He passed away due to you know the thing that I don't know. I still don't know if you're allowed to say that word on YouTube, but the thing that you know has been holding everybody in their home for the past 12 months. Oh, Isaiah Thomas goes number six of the Chicago Bulls. Hold on. Up oh, there. And there goes Sekou. Scouts love, love, love to talk about intangibles within a player. University at Thomas is regarded as the player with the biggest upside in the entire draft. Five foot nine, 185. Wait, this man Isaiah weighs more than me. Let me simulate to end. Dog, I'm six foot one, six foot two. Actually, I've lost 20 pounds in the past two months, though. Discipline crazy. Uh, not sure who this Isaiah Thomas is that Chicago just drafted. Where is Washington anyway? Hashtag, wait, what? Who's at, oh, well, actually, I guess, wait, is Washington, like, is Washington, Washington, D.C. college? Or is that, I would assume it's the one at the, well, yeah, actually he's from seattle so it makes sense if he went to the washington college okay i don't know i wasn't watching the isaiah thomas washington college highlights back in 2009 i was eight so of course we do have a conflict of interest so to speak here in chicago because you know that guy kobe white guy with the cool hair yeah he's a point guard too zach levine's also a star shooting guard who or a star guard i should say who you know likes to score and stuff but isaiah well he does the same thing kobe's an 82 zach levine 88 where's isaiah what is he oh man yeah he's like i said he's 72 okay his zero badges an 80 shot tenant well yeah 
I could have I could have told you that he was he was averaging a lot of points on some pretty inefficient stuff. Like I said, no badges. How about oh he's expressive? Of course, that's his one personality badge. Expressive. Dame dropped 67 last season. Okay, let's just continue. Let's see if he can crack the rotation. Season numero uno. Yeah, so he's not gonna be in the rotation just yet, but uh we'll see what happens. I'm actually kind of interested in this. I don't think I've run I wonder when the last time I had a situation like this was the player gets drafted top six and they're not even cracking the rotation. They just see the potential. Why did it just take so long to start up the simulation? Oh no, nah, but to run back around to the around, remind me to like comments though hey oh yeah you could like the video though if you feel like it because you know what i mean support the channel whatever uh, watch the videos um comment your uh, favorite second round pick in nba history i don't know i can't control you let's see we about 40 games in he crack anything yet okay kobe's still starting uh isaiah no but he's went up by one overall oh could they have sent him to the g league he's only played in two games i wish he honestly played in zero so he could have won rookie of the year the next year but it's okay but i meant to say he went up by two overalls but he's down one right now because he's pissed admittedly or you know what i mean expectedly so i wonder if you could have guessed that he's not a one-time all-star yet Giannis, the MVP, expectedly so. You know, in real life, who's MVP right now? Like, as of, as I record this video, uh, you know what I mean? It's it's the 31st of January. No, I, I think Jokic and Beat are the favorites right now, if I'm not mistaken. Jokic just dropped 47 points. Why do I keep going back to Giannis? Hello, Kate, uh, uh, everybody else. Precious wasn't the rookie of the year. Well, obviously, because he's not a rookie. I'm stupid. But he was the sixth man of the year. He's not a rookie anymore in this scene. You know, I mean, we're at 2021-22 now. As, uh, yep, we don't care about any of this stuff, because Isaiah's not going to be on any of these. He didn't play a minute, right? Let's see. Uh, yep, he is still in no type of rotation. He is a 76 overall without playing a minute. My bad. He played minutes. He played five games, five minutes, and he had one turnover and did not score a point. That is saddening. But guess what? He could just win a ring before he plays a basketball game. We're 44 and 38. What the hell? Why was there a four-way tie? Could have been five. I don't know. It could be more teams that didn't even make the playoffs. Let's see. They were playing Philadelphia first round, and we lost 4-1. Okay, there goes year one. There it goes. Uh, uh, Boston wins. Jason Tatum, Carmelo Anthony of the Celtics retired. That's probably the, not even just like, I don't know, like this, the green on him sounds kind of weird i don't really want you on that team you know that's my favorite player of all time. nah you can stay away from the celtic i mean if they win you a ring like they just did actually you know what yeah no do it go ahead does a ring really even count though if it's on a musty team uh let's see we still got a pick anywhere um i don't know douglas wingate we drafted us so we had 19th there it is right there uh, okay sure shooting guard slash at least you're not a point guard why is kevin durant here kevin why are you on my basketball team why did we let zach levine go for kevin durant now obviously i'm not questioning the decision to let zach levine leave the basketball basketball team for Kevin Durant. But why is Kevin Durant even considering the decision to come to Chicago? I didn't actually see you. You could just go like skip back 12 seconds and look at the playoff picture. When did the Nets lose? Because this is this is blasphemous. Why are you in Chicago? Where is James and, and Kyrie? What are they doing? Are they still um, even Kyrie left? Kyrie's on the Thunder with a 91 overall shade. You know what? I kind of like this. It keeps the variety up. Um, Screw it. Kevin Durant is a member of the Chicago Bulls. We might have the best player in the league to be. I mean, I think overall wise, if he was a small forward, he'd be like a 90 or 100 basically and isaiah thomas uh, you're still behind levine i mean not levine uh kobe white levine is gone but you're a 78 now and you probably should be yeah you'll be in the rotation you'll be in the rotation okay um season number two we might actually get a ring although katie's on a very raw talented team kind of yeah so isaiah will be the eighth man this season and has potential to potentially do something i don't know want to start him at shooting guard guys is he slash shooting guard no of course not he's five nine kobe can though kobe six five that's kind of nice that's a good height you know what i mean big body um why are we the 15th ranked team in the conference after adding kevin Durant to our basketball roster. 28 and 43. Dog, it doesn't get any better than this. And, and Gordon Hayward is somehow here. Eric Bledsoe is just shooting guard. In what dimension? Man is six foot one. Why didn't you trade somebody else? Okay, IT. He's averaging 14 points and four assists on 44%. What's up with all the fours? Shout out Jay-Z. Uh, 30. Have I never? I think I've shouted out Jay-Z every single time it said 44. 37% from three. And he hasn't started a game yet, but that's okay. How is Gordon Hayward even here? I don't know. Who else did we trade? Uh, Eric Bledsoe. We must have, you must have spawned here somehow i'm definitely moving kobe to shooting guard eventually if isaiah and him stay together for an entire career Although the defense of that backcourt is kind of uh yeah luca mvp wesley maggetti rookie of the year what's what's up with you 79 overall he's cool it's like uh wesley matthews any place for the trailblazers too prime wesley matthews uh hey precious is precious precious is real name like is that his real name precious achu or well, actually wait no i think it's uh i'm still gonna call him achuawa though I, I think i actually know how to say his real name though yeah so uh, we suck somehow i'm about to look at the stats and uh you know to say kevin durant's the worst 2k player of all time let's see no i mean actually didn't play that bad at least it doesn't seem as if so maybe you should have just taken more shots though because you're kevin durant screw it why not isaiah 14 and 4 game on 44 but we, we already went over this but yeah awful basketball team i guess 76 is won the ring over zion ben simmons congrats this is what would happen if you were aggressive or you're just you know in 2k jeff green retired also known as like the fourth most uh valuable player on the nets we have the ninth pick this year wonder who we're gonna draft dante Gaines, 76 overall center i guess he could take gafford's spot eventually let's see uh 
there. KD still alive and well. Isaiah Thomas, 84 overall. He might just give him the starting spot eventually. Eric Bledsoe is old. Actually, yeah, yeah. He'll probably there's something's gonna happen. They're gonna move Kobe. I don't know. Let's see. Season number three. Oh, uh, you know what, Isaiah? Just hold down the six minute. Wait, you and Laurie are off the bench. What the hell? This is a power forward size center. They just they just don't want to start him. Eh, whatever. Isaiah, just hold down your bench row. I'm never gonna make you play shooting guard. You're you're too short for that. That's like, you know what I mean? We're not trying to do all that. He's averaging 18 on 46 percent from the field and 43 from three thus far i just stopped the simulation like six uh whatever how many games is that 14 games in because i was confused as to why we were bad i want to see if he was starting but no not his fault yet let's see any surprising all-stars this year um oh look it's zach levine the man that we let walk as we're 10th in the conference again i want to see what the hell levine's team is doing levine's on the knicks with jeremy grant obi toppin and darius garland and miles bridges and emmanuel quickly who's been incredible in real life he's been ecstatic ecstatic no that's an awful way of describing it that would describe his personality what does that have to do with his basketball skill maybe if he's a happy person he'd be good at basketball i don't know target list lebron james yeah keep dreaming the knicks aren't in the playoffs either never mind young luca the mvp wayne cooper oh hey it's bull bull let's just keep it a stack 2k definitely patched the hell out of bull bull this year i don't i mean maybe not the hell out of but like slightly but he still makes it happen regardless i mean yeah i mean he gave you 15 and 10 in the season what you want more from my guy and he's off the bench behind Jokic. hello michael meyer uh kevin all nba second team we make the playoffs no we missed it by how many games six games yeah is isaiah like third on the team in scoring or something despite being off the bench uh, uh yeah third i was actually meant to say second but sure third was the right answer no i didn't even mean to say that 19 6 and 48 percent from the field 43 from three yeah he's a pretty solid contributor to this basketball team despite the no record yet and it could actually be to the fact that there's zero defense on this entire team who's a good defender on this team kobe white 70 perimeter defense seth curry didn't even know you're here 51 svi is a 56 perimeter defense daniel gafford 76 interior defense dario saric 70 oh look we got Kabengle, he's good at defense. Isaiah, perimeter defense, 65. Markinen, 67. Hayward, 73. Yeah, it seems as if aside from Kevin Durant, there's just about zero good defenders on this team. Wow, look at his stats. Jesus Christ. So yeah, we, no wonder we saw. We averaged the second most points allowed per game in the league. And of course, the second worst defensive rating in the league. Yeah, probably not a good recipe for success. And Isaiah is not necessarily going to help that either. Congrats, Giannis, on your ring. Aaron Baines retired. This is already about to be year four, just like that, huh? Some of these take, I mean, like, like the Kobe simulation my didn't he have like seven rings within his first four years isaiah is officially at least the same overall as kobe white he won it by four but he's above him i don't know so he's gonna be i, I guess starting he got 21 badges now i've not looked at those at all i forgot you know what i mean he had zero badges he has silver rebound chaser i actually absolutely love that from a five foot nine man rebound chaser despite even though he's only averaging one as of now tight handles on gold tireless shooter on gold nothing else necessarily on gold yet but that's cool though you got 21 badges total team is just about the same which is kind of odd considering that like the first year 80 players move into the new scenarios and then after that they just kind of stick around at least for our team uh season number four i didn't even look at who we drafted i couldn't care less though it's time to win speaking of winning is he starting yet no he is not eric allen who the hell are you i'm about to just move kobe to the two. Oh, you have a 92 three-point shot yeah still really don't care 77 defense though okay kobe seems to have been playing well this uh you know i mean these years we'll, we'll, we'll let isaiah earn it himself you know i mean i'm not gonna you know, i mean do anything just yet anyway isaiah is an all-star off the bench or he could be starting by now but uh no cade cunningham though shout to you is Kate on the same team as LaMelo? Hello, Mr. Doncic. Congrats on your 46th MVP. Christian Wood, sixth man of the year with the Sixers, which is a team that I used to see him on on 2K whatever blacktop when he was back in the G League or the even it was probably the D League back in those times. 2K, I want to say 2K 15, 16. That man had a mean come up. Okay, we finally made the playoffs 49 and 33. So Isaiah is in a higher overall than Kobe yet. He's still off the bench, at least as of like, you know, the exact current moment. He averaged the second most points in the team at 20 with eight assists, 49% from the field 41 from three 32 minutes per game an astounding four blocks and he started in 29 of the games which actually a lot of them were alongside kobe considering that he only be was benched for six of them but okay you know anything can really happen the bench might be just a solid little you know i mean wait and hold on let me not even finish my sentence yeah cade Cunningham is starting at point guard and lamello balls at small forward wow it's actually incredible since lamello is like 6 uh, 13 let's see simulate the round and we lost in game set okay k dropped 37 and lamello dropped 34 as they beat us by 12 points outscoring us by eight in the fourth patrick williams scored more than kevin i mean that's cool you know patrick williams cool little 86 overall kd 22 7 and 6 on 6 for 17 shooting isaiah thomas 17 on 6 for 12 with eight assists he averaged 16 on 38 percent in the playoffs that's not that great we were of course guarded by Cade, 3 for 15 in game whatever 3 for 12 in this other game whatever 4 for 12 in this other game whatever well game one and game two okay let me just stop and the houston rockets win this championship led by pasco Maybe it's the colors being similar to his, you know, current colors, but I could imagine.
imagine him going to Houston. Why not? The red, white, and uh, black, I guess, right? That's the same as Toronto. Maybe Toronto's just black and red. Who the hell knows? Or maybe me, because I'm not colorblind. I could just look. LeBron James of the Raptors. All oh, right, he owns the franchise. Of course, he had to make his way there eventually. Why would Derrick Rose retire with the Pistons out of all decisions? So, Isaiah, you should be getting your bag right now, right? KD finally regret. Wait, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. I said Isaiah was getting his bag, and he definitely got his bag uh, elsewhere. They signed 36 year old Jimmy Butler, 91. You know what? I'm not even mad at it. Chicago, you guys have been awful at defense, and Isaiah just had a bad first round in the playoffs. I'm not mad at it. Now, I'm mad at it because you drafted him with the sixth pick and just let him walk. And I'm mad at it because Jimmy Butler is 36 years old, but you wanted defense and you got defense, and you brought back your guy who's going to probably retire with you now after, or maybe not. I don't know. He's only on a one year deal. But you know what I mean? The guy that you drafted back in, well, ironically, 2011, right? Since this is the year Isaiah got drafted in real life. Now, where the hell did Isaiah go? This man left after his rookie contract. It was a little bit of an odd scenario, but you know, it was a scenario at the, at the you know, at the end of the day. It's all he wants in real life anyways, just to be on a team. Isaiah Thomas is on Denver. I don't know why. It just made me think about when Nate Robinson signed with Denver for like the last year of his career, as well as Isaiah Thomas signed with Denver for like the last year of his career. And then he went to Washington and then he tra traded the Clippers and released, I believe. I don't even think he played with Denver, to be honest with you. Okay, cool. So uh, Isaiah Thomas is currently on the team with Nikola Jokic and Bo Bo. Oh man. And an old Kemba, Gary Trent. Now I'm, I got to see what this team is. Oh, it says they were fourth in the conference. That's pretty good. I don't know who they could have lost. I, there's really no way for me. What do you want me to track down throughout every single player in the league? But okay. I mean, Jamal Murray, he, he probably went elsewhere, right? Well, obviously, but I, I don't know. He may, may, might have just left. Who knows? Let's see. Isaiah, 32 minutes a game in the starting five. They got Antoine Murphy with all these uh, these sla tattoo sleeves. Kalen Horton Tucker off the bench. He had a very valiant effort in one of the career simulations recently. Hayden Pritchard. And Bobo is actually starting at the four. Interesting. Season number five on a new squadron. Isaiah playing pretty valiantly ever since his first year or two of no PT. But of course, we're looking for more success now. Or some wild playoff efforts, you know, the usual. It'll be cool to watch out of a 5'9 guy. I want to say it was 2017 was the year that Isaiah got injured in the playoffs. And of course, all the insanity would, uh, you know, I mean, ever just a bunch of stuff happened to him. You probably remember if you remember. Kawhi got Zaza stepping on his feet, right? That happened too. A bunch of BS happened in that playoff run. And then, of course, it was all capped off by the fact that Durant and the Warriors and them just won. Oh, yeah. Was that also the year that uh, JR did the thing? Was it already four years ago since JR just threw the ball away or whatever? Didn't shoot the shot? Still no IT all star wonder if he'll get it yeah i mean i wonder if his rebounds the average will start to go up since he randomly has that badge De'Aaron fox one time all-star starter Jokic eight time all-star seen zion as the captain thus far isaiah averaging 26 points and eight assists leading the team to a fourth in the conference ayo do this for your career forget accolades just rack these up that's fine by me kyrie irving is oklahoma city's most viable player helen montgomery hold on jb bickerstaff Jokic first team any isaiah no hello zach levine and of course okay for a second i thought we're in the east and we missed the playoffs no obviously we're in the west now i'm gonna assume it stats didn't vary too much nope still is 25 and 8 a game on 51 percent shooting though is pretty incredible and 45 from three he also now is tireless shooter on hall of fame and yet yeah, a hall go, gold rebound chaser what the hell playing dallas first round they got of course oh boy it's gonna be luca versus it this man has a foot advantage matter of fact isn't it 5 8 they like relisted him as 5 8 but they got him at 5 9 in the game still uh sure he'll take the extra yeah you know i mean he'll take it they still got almost like a pretty similar team luca uh, hardaway jr and porzingis let's see if we can beat them down uh, uh no we just blew a 3-1 lead oh my god we lost by 15 after blowing a 3-1 lead to the third seeded mavericks isaiah had 34 and 10 in the final game but luca had 36 and 8 although he did shoot 4 for 12 from 3 which is is pretty you know i mean that's not uh, uh, whatever he has a lot of badges he's definitely luca Doncic. luca actually wasn't even that i mean then again we did bring him to seven games isaiah thomas seemingly playing pretty well for the entirety of this series almost 30 plus in every game except for uh what three of them two of them but yeah another playoff run ended in round number one as the mavericks went to the finals and lost to the hawks trey young beats down Doncic. warriors legend blake griffin retired wait what did isaiah sign a one-year deal wait whoa i never even looked at the contract did isaiah sign a one-year deal is it already on that type of time where there's not going to value isaiah and give him a max contract anywhere just because he's short or something hold on where is this man thomas isaiah thomas this oh my god he's on dallas he went to the team he lost to 
dude, what a contract did this man sign? Okay, well, now he's on a four-year contract, but what were you on before this? I wish you can go to the social media tab and go back mad far. Let's see. No, I don't think so. Nuggets don't want to, but they're going to have to let Isaiah Thomas test free agency. No bird rights. Nuggets have no choice but to let Isaiah walk in free agency this summer. No bird rights. They had no money. They didn't give him a multi-year deal. What? They fumbled the hell. I don't care. They renounced his contract. I don't care what you, you guys, dog. No, this is not his team. This is just me searching up Thomas. We're about to see who the hell's on Dallas. I would assume hopefully Luca's still there. That would be nuts. And if he is, I actually am going to move Luca to like a shooting guard or something because Jesus, I'm about to demote this man IT to the bench for a man a whole foot taller than him. I mean, maybe I will actually. That'd be kind of cool. Sixth man of the year awards. That could be the IT route. Screw it. He has seemingly finally found a home at least for a couple of years considering that the last one must have been a one year deal and I didn't even realize it. Oh my God, Luca is gone. Isaiah Thomas is the Luca replacement. Oh, actually, you know what though? They actually had a solid direction though. You got Isaiah who's off led defense. Okay, they gave Porzingis an 84 defense. He's probably not that strong though, right? Let me see. Let me see. Let me. I mean, it doesn't really matter. 79, whatever. But aside from that, uh, DeAndre Hunter, DiVincenzo, Porzingis tall stuff to defend the paint. Rashawn Holmes, pretty good defender if not mistaken. Terrence Clark, pretty good defender. So although Isaiah Thomas is now going to be leading this team in the scoring effort, he's not good at defense, but they got him a bunch of good defenders to surround him. And Luca is now in the Grizzlies with Colin Sexton. I love it. That's incredible. Okay. The team you lost to, you went to because they gave you money and a franchise superstar role. 32 minutes a game for IT. Season number six. Oh boy, Isaiah Thomas, one time all-star. Not gonna lie, it's actually like eerily similar to his real life career because he went to mad teams. He went to, well, he was on the Kings first, then he went to the Suns for half a season and then eventually found his superstar role on the Celtics. Really weird how this has worked out the exact same. And he was averaging, he was getting buckets ever since his Kings days too. It's just, you know, I mean, it's the Kings. But we're actually fifth in the conference right now. So we're actually not that, our six now. Luca MVP again. Hey, look, it's Precious. Still this, what is he, the new six man of the year guy? We about to, hey, we about to go from Bo Bo to Precious? Isaiah, no all NBA. But okay, you know, we cracked seventh in the conference. Not bad, not bad. We're up against second seed Golden State. I haven't even looked at IT stats yet. So I got to do that too. He's playing Henry Maggetti, Zion, and James Wiseman in an old clay. Player stats, 26 points per game, nine assists, 50% from the field, 47 from three efficient bucket getting a mr thomas now we shall see round one against golden state and they beat us for two yep the interior play of zion with his 37 points 34 per game in the series it's too much for it who averaged 32 on 56 percent shooting 50 from three obviously with that type of you know i mean you can't really have too many off games with that he must have been playing very well the entire series but another first round loss for the uh, little dog and oh my god kevin durant is the finals mvp for the chicago bulls kobe white KD, Gordon Hayward, Eric Allen. I think this is the guy who had like the 92 three-point shot that I was complimenting. Yeah, they actually just won a championship. And guess what? You guys could have just kept IT at this rate because I don't think you signed anybody else. You have Josh Hart, Thomas Bryant. Maybe IT was hurting him. I know. I don't know. We shall see. Is that the new narrative we shall paint throughout this next, I don't know, however many years of his career? And KD went out on that note. Reggie Perry retired. And it's funny. I never even considered it. Oh, thanks. Restricted free agent Phil Wood for accepting the qualifying offer worth 3.91 million. Isaiah still 91 overall. This may or may not be a ceiling. We shall see. Rest the team's still looking solid. He's still Isaiah. I never even considered it because like, you know, I mean, actually would have said it on his social media tab, but it is also possible he could have just got traded and like signed a long term deal with that. You know, I mean, that last team. Like, What if they just traded him during the draft for the number one pick or something? We don't know. But I guess you could know if you just seen that he signed a one year deal. Maybe he now has, whoa, Hall of Fame, Giant Slayer, Hall of Fame, Catch and Shoot, Hall of Fame, Clutch, Hall of Fame, Hot Zone, Hall of Fame, Tireless, Hall of Fame, Value, Stop and Go, Floor General, Dimer, Bailout, Ankle Breaker and Rebound Chaser on Gold. This man has the full repertoire of Hall of Fame badges mad randomly. Not that like it's random that he got a bunch of them. Actually, it kind of is. I don't, even, I don't even know if Kobe had that. Now, Kobe definitely had that many. But it's rare for a man of a 91 overall to just randomly. I mean, I don't know. You only got 21 total. That's impressive, Mr. Thomas. Just to randomly get all of them at once. Like the hell. We get back-to-back -back Isaiah All-Star. Is he actually? Where is he? What the hell? I was excited. I thought you were going to be back-to-back All-Star. But no, instead you give it to Zach Hudson. Where the hell is Isaiah? Kobe White is in the MVP race because KD retired. But of course, Luca's averaging 41. Isaiah's averaging 25. Actually, no, never mind. That is kind of disappointing. Actually, after last season, you're, you're actually much better. And we're 12th in the conference. I don't know what happened, but something happened regarding the team, the, the Isaiah, both. Who knows? He's fighting with Rick Carlisle. Like, when, you know, remember when Rajon Rondo got traded to the Celtics that one season? I believe he got traded for like Jay Crowder and uh, Hicks, probably. Maybe one other player that I can't remember. Rajon got traded to the Mavericks. They're like, yo, the Mavericks about to be mad nice. They got Rajon. They got Dirk. They got Monte Ellis. Who else they had? Maybe that was after Tyson Chandler 
return two to the Mavericks, but then they just they, he just got mad at Rick Carlisle for the entirety of the season. And they like released him. Luca MVP, Zach Levine, six man of the year. The hell, Ryan Saunders, coach of the year. Sure, good for you. Isaiah still nowhere to be found. Of course, on the all defensive second team. What did you expect it? And uh, a conference rank, we were eleventh, four games out of the playoffs. Okay, that's kind of saddening. We still got Kristaps and Tim Hardaway Jr. here, so the core is pretty similar. But uh, Isaiah's twenty six and nine on fifty two percent. He actually picked it up or fifty one percent. My bad. Can't round up. We're not supposed to round up. Forty six from three. Now, even with some decent defenders in this team, we still have the ninth worst defense in the league according to a defensive rating. And we also have the seventeenth best in the in the league in offense. So that's not that great either. So, uh, yeah, there's always this thing called next year, I guess, unless the NBA shuts down and has to go into a bubble. Why did the Bulls just win another ring led by Kobe White? What the hell? I guess Kobe must have been the one to force that man uh, uh, Isaiah to the sidelines because my God, yeah, we just had DeAndre Hunter last year too, and he left us. That's kind of annoying. He left us, went to the Bulls, and they won the ring. Isaiah must be pissed. And uh, D'Lo, Cat, and Edwards were still together and went to the finals. So there's some hope for the Timberwolves fans, but they only won one game in the finals. For the first seed though, Gordon Hayward retired. Wait, what the hell? Tim Hardaway retired? That's like one of our like three scores. Oh, never mind. He averaged eight. Oh boy, Phil Wood accepted the qualifying offer again. Oh man. Isaiah Thomas, one year left in this contract. Chris stops left. I'm about to see where the hell this man went. The most OG Ananobi move ever is being the best player on a team and averaging eight points per game. Porzingis went to the Magic. You tell me I just, I'm not gonna lie. I actually feel really, really stupid right now because I just scrolled through every single team just to see that he's a team that I could have clicked L2 once and been right here. He went to the Magic to be their new Vucevic. I'm sure, whatever. Great, great job. Now we have Jerome Barber. I haven't even checked our draft picks in a good minute. Uh, we, well, we had the second pick and we drafted a 73. Oh, his ceiling is Robert Parrish, though. How the hell you watch a player and say he's going to be Robert Parrish? Has anyone ever watched Robert Parrish? I feel like Robert Parrish has never even watched Robert, Robert Parrish. I wonder if anyone in the past 10 years has ever looked up the Robert Parrish highlights. Season number eight, Julius Randle, one time all star. Oh, man. I'm just waiting for Isaiah Thomas respect, though, as, uh, oh my God, he's averaging 22 points, worst field goal percentage, a little bit more assist, but our team did suck, so it shouldn't be surprising that we're 12 and 40. Oh my God, that's so bad. Oh God. John Morant, Miami's MVP. Okay, great. Alex says Pukazewski. I heard Mike Breen say it so beautifully in one of the Knicks broadcasts, but I don't remember how he said it, so I'm going to keep saying Pukazewski. Hello, Mike Malone. Hey, weren't we in Denver? Oh my God, why is Mike Malone the coach of the year now? All right, maybe because he has this guy named Nikola Jokic. Uh, Isaiah's nowhere to be found. We were the worst team in the league, and Denver was the best. Denver and where's Chicago? Oh, Chicago's not even good anymore. That's great. Denver won 57 games. I'm saddened to, yeah, just learn of this, considering that we used to be there, and they still have just about the same exact team, except they took Dante from us. What the hell? We lost all of our defenders, Porzingis, everybody, Hardaway retired. Everyone just ran. And then Denver lost in the first round anyways. God, I love this game. Jalen Green, finals MVP for the seventh seeded Pacers. Reggie Miller type B. <laughs> we drafted Bryce. Br Wait, actually, matter of fact, came to about Bryce Bishop for a minute because uh, he's an 81 overall second pick. You know what I mean? What, what is he going to be? Andrew Wiggins. Although Wiggins has been pretty nice this season, but I'm pretty sure I've seen people going crazy on Twitter because Wiggins has been nice this season, but I'm pretty sure he did the same exact thing last season. Hell, I believe I believe he was on my fantasy team and was bugging out, playing incredible, and then randomly just stopped playing incredible. It might happen again. I don't know. Hopefully it doesn't Not, like stop. You know what I mean? But what I was about to say is Isaiah, he could just leave right now, I believe. It is day 11 of free agency and he does not have a contract. He doesn't even have a contract he likes and he has not received a multi-year offer. Oh my God. Is he about to not get signed? Oh, of course. I just skipped over, but Phil Wood accepted his restricting offer. Of course, we love that. Isaiah Thomas signs a one-year $29 million deal with the Pelicans. Is this why we about to be on? So is he doing the same exact thing he's doing in real life despite being a 91 overall? Is this what we really on right now? Why are they doing this to me? Like, I was, I was over here like, oh, Isaiah Thomas, next Derek Woes, he's five foot nine. Isaiah Thomas, Jaron Jackson, Lonzo Ball, Emmanuel Quickly, Isaiah Roby, Judd Fields, Jonathan Kuminga. Uh, this looks like the reject of everywhere else in the league team, except for Emmanuel Quickly, of course. This is God. Season number nine. You know, I'm not gonna lie. So like, you know, I mean, I blew up a lot in the past year, of course. I had a big time blow up. And a lot of the time, my question was like, oh, why the hell are people watching my videos all of a sudden? You know what I mean? Despite, I thought my videos were good, but then like once they start to get to like 300,000 numbers, like, hold on, what's going on? But I'm not gonna lie. Like, I understand it when I sit down and try to eat some and I can't find a good YouTube video to watch. I found maybe like six good YouTube videos in the past like eight months. That's an exaggeration, but still. Hell, I mentioned it earlier, I lost 20 pounds. I only eat once a day and I can't find a video for my, my meal. Consistent, like dog, some, if someone don't drop content, Isaiah Thomas, two-time All-Star. Wait, let me not just glance over that real quick. Hold on, I was saying it like it was casual and I was about to, you know, get back to my rant, but uh, 23, hold on, Jaron Jackson, shout to you. 30-year-old Jaron Jackson Jr. with 23.7 rebounds. Why I sound like Stephen A. Smith? Jackson Jr. Now, that, 
right, that second attempt was better. It was better naturally with my natural New York X. 23, 9 a game, 51, 45 from three. Why did I just say 51, not for percentage, whatever. We're fifth in the conference. I called this team the rejects, and well, that's kind of working, I guess. We're 30 wins in, or, you know, whatever, uh, English. Trey Young, MVP. Good for him. He's still in Atlanta, too. Oh, there goes Alex Sedge again. Lucas Lucas, coach of the year. Matter of fact, I have not seen... Jacob Underwood is still a coach in 2K. He's still around. I've not seen that man in, like, a millennium. Now, I have mentioned before that I can't do no, like, career sims or nothing on the guy on next gen because, you know what I mean? Although, I probably will, like I've mentioned before, go back to the previous gen or uh, 2K20 in, in due time. Just for, you know, videos here and there. But I can't do no, like, videos with his cyber face because I can't mod the game. But where the hell is your coach in tenure? 44 wins. Pelicans were fifth seed in the playoffs. Let's see the stats one more time just to confirm how clean we were at the basketball thing. 23-9 a game. 52 from the field. Why is it? Why is the New Orleans Pelicans across like that? Like, you see how New Orleans Pelicans says New Orleans Pelicans, and then it says Minnesota Timberwolves up on, on top of each other. That was the name too long. It just looks musty. It's not symmetrical. You know what I mean? Minnesota on top and Timberwolves on bottom, but New Orleans is all in one straight line. I don't get it. Okay, uh, who cares about the matchup, right? We just worry about the fonts over here. We had Brandon Ingram Towns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course we won though, right? No, no, no. Isaiah Thomas has yet to make it out of the first round. We about to be 10 years in. We lost again. Isaiah, two-time all-star on the resume. He shoots a lot. He's basketball. He's basketball. Yes, that definitely makes sense, but uh, I'm trying to find his playoff stats. 26 points per game, 54 from the field. He dropped 42 in the, uh, 46 in the last game and lost by six. That's disappointing. 16 and one, 26 and lost, 19 and lost. Oh man. Another first round exit for Mr. Thomas. I have not been checking if his opposition has been like balling out on him too. Like who the hell was he up against in the series? Was it Brunson? Doesn't seem as he was getting balled out on though. You know, Brunson just doing his little Jalen Brunson thing. And the Grizzlies won the championship led by Kobe White. Why is he the greatest player of all time? The greatest defender of all time, Javon Carter retired. Uh, Isaiah, you signed a one year deal. So what the hell is it going to be this year? Have you earned yourself a bigger contract yet? Or no, does the NBA still hate you? Oh, okay. Okay. We're going to Utah on the max or something like that. Maybe not the max, but something like that. Once again, just to say the same exact thing again, you know, Utah in just a scale of like NBA relevance seems like a team. Now I know they're on like a 10 game win streak in real life. Maybe that's got snapped by Nicole Jokic, not going to lie. But in the scheme of NBA relevance, thinking what teams are going to be the best, you know, like 11 years down the line, maybe Utah's a team that can help him save his career right now. Give him a max contract at 30 something years old. Not in real life, in the game though, maybe. Jalen Green, he, you were a finals MVP. Emmanuel quickly back again on the team because I guess, oh, he got a long-term deal here too. Utah just giving out the long-term deals. We made a squad. Let's build some chemistry here. We don't got a lot of players yet, but we got some decent ones. Wiggins is here too. We know he's always looking for an opportunity. Isaiah Thomas, season number 10 inbound for I think the 31 or 32 year old man. Isaiah Thomas, three-time existence within the all-star team. We're 12th in the conference though. That's not, that's not that cool, you know? But hey, whatever. We'll see what happens. Luca is in Sacramento. Uh, sure. Actually, that's ironic because I think they drafted, you know I mean? Marvin Bagley over him or whatever. Ben Simmons, the DPOY. Mike Malone, coach of the year again. Oh, guess what? Screw this. Whatever. We know we're not going to make no All-NBA team. The worst team in the conference. Again, although we're only six games out of the playoffs, that's really weird. We missed the playoffs and the Hawks are champions led by Trey Young again. He's been very loyal to his team. Isaiah averaged 23 on 51% this season. Nine assists. Bradley Beal of the Lakers retired. Oh boy, here come the rumors. Although him and Russ just pulled off like a Reggie Miller-esque performance to beat the uh, Nets as I record this. I actually had the game on my phone and then I hit it off right before they pulled that off. And then I seen people bugging out about it on Twitter. You know, these seasons kind of take a minute to simulate, you know. You can like the video for my editing out of the me simulating the god-awful god seasons, at least most of the time. Isaiah Thomas, is he regressing or is this a fluke? I don't know, but he's a 90, 32 years old man. Uh, let's see. I, I think he lost Hall of Fame Giant Slayer, right? I don't know. Shooting badges seem to still be intact. Playmaking seem to be intact. Oh boy, his rebounding chase is still there. But uh, let's see. Can we do anything in this next year? Hey, look, it's DeAndre Hunter running right back to us. And Emmanuel quickly is pretty old himself. Season number 11, Isaiah Thomas, four-time All-Star. Benjamin Simmons, most valuable player. He would randomly figure out all his like greatest way to play basketball at 35 years old. He'll definitely, definitely still be around. Ben DPOY, Luke Walton, coach of the year. Sure, whatever. Isaiah Thomas, All-NBA third team. Oh, this man just randomly showing out with the 27-11 a game. I did not even see no record. I don't know what the hell we did. This is his first ever All-NBA appearance on the third team, of course. You know, he's got, he's really got the defense going for him, and he hasn't scored really, I don't think, 30-plus in any season yet. Today, he's still got time, whatever, and oh, man, we're third in the conference. I told you, he finally got an opportunity to stick around somewhere and do some stuff, and well, it seems to be working well. How did Jalen Green help him out? Did anybody help him out too well? Yep, him and Jalen was carrying this team. First round, come on. We got to literally have not made it past the first round yet. We still got DeAndre on this team. Oh, my God. Giannis at center against Avicii Zubac. But they don't really got anybody else too crazy on this team, except for Puka Zevsky or whatever the hell his name is. Uh, oh boy, it's 2-2. Three 
two in their favor. Three, three. Okay, you know what? You 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 catch this simcast real quick. Oh boy, we won. Twenty three from Jalen Green. Twenty two from IT. They both had ten plus assists. We held Giannis at thirteen on six for seventeen shooting in this first or whatever the game seven. As they was putting up a pretty consistent, you know, one game he shot five for seventeen. Aside from that, though, playing pretty well throughout the entire series. Jalen Green almost put up forty one of them. They're working pretty well as a duo, you know. Now second round, we're playing Denver, his former team. They're the second seed, two versus three seed. Jokic is still a 93. Herbert Mullen, 90. Sure. Don't know where Bull Bull is by this point in time, but okay. We got the guard advantage. They got the big advantage. And oh my God, they just 4 0 swept us. Yep, that's sadness. And they lost in the finals 4 2 to the Raptors. Isaiah, 26 and 9 on 46%. Oh yeah, that Nuggets defense must have been good against him because, yeah. Actually, he's still playing pretty solid. He just, you know, 40% isn't that bad or whatever, 46 or whatever it was. Kyrie, ironically, retired with the Wizards after losing to the Wizards just now in real life. Pretty sure Harden was out, though, for whatever that's worth, even though, you know, he's still got two of the greatest scores of all time in the lineup. Isaiah, okay, yeah, he's definitely regressing. He's an 89 overall. Still seems to have his Hall of Fame bat. Or actually, no, he lost one of his shooting badges, but whichever, whichever one it is, I don't know. He's still Isaiah, though, as of now. I mean, he's coming straight up to All-NBA appearance at 32. Season number 12, no injuries. IT still holding him pretty strong. He's still an 80, 89 overall, right? Isaiah Thomas is an all-star starter for the first time ever. Okay. He's averaging 30 points and 11 assists per game. Uh, yep. Yep, this man is in full prime form randomly. Imagine this is how it would have been in real life too if he didn't get injured. Oh man, the pain. Who the hell knows? But we are 11th in the conference, which isn't good. But hey, I'll take it. Whatever the hell we can. Luca, are you back on? No, you're on the Boston Celtics, actually. I was about to say, I think Dallas has like a green retro jersey that made me think of them. But no, yeah, no, you're in Boston. Kira Lewis, sixth man of the year for the Knicks. Luke Walton, coach of the year. Uh, Isaiah Tom Whoa, all NBA first team? Yep, 29 11 a game was good for the first team for IT. Did we, we miss the playoffs and this man's in the first team? Oh my God, just simulate for God's sake. Sacramento wins the finals four to two led by Cat. Although it wasn't, oh yeah, no, Luca was definitely just there. They've never got rid of Bagley. Wow. All these years, this man has been there for an entire, what, 15 year career. Yeah. And they have Zion. What the hell? Avicha Zubak retired. Isaiah, 87 overall, final year of his contract. We shall see what the hell he decides to do past this. Set a new career high of 55 points this year. I think that's higher than his real life career high, right? I don't know. Now his two shooting badges, Hall of Fame, and three playmaking. Oh, no, his rebound chaser is silver, even though has he ever even been averaging rebounds? Like he's averaged most two a game in his entire career, but he has rebound. That doesn't even make sense. Season number 13. I guess maybe it makes sense when you're five foot nine. Jalen Green's an all-star starter this year, but Isaiah, uh, okay, he's still here. He's a six-time all-star off the bench. Hello, Jason Tatum. How are you doing? First pick off the bench. Tyrone McKenzie, number three in the MVP race. Uh, I'm assuming this is not a real, yeah, it's not. It's second round pick. Wow. Second round pick from only four years ago, and he's in the MVP race now. It's actually incredible. I don't think I've I might be the first time I've ever seen an auto-generated second round pick just randomly do that in 2K. LaMelo Ball MVP. Calvin Bennett DPOY. Dana Falk coach of the year. Why does he look? He looks like H3, H3. OG Ananobi, all defensive first team. I don't see Isaiah anymore, right? Yeah, no. Kobe White, of course, still around. We missed the playoffs again. 29 and 53, the 14th rank in the conference. Isaiah 25 and 10 a game this season, but uh, no playoffs. So uh, sadness ensues yet again. Calbert Bennett, the, the finals MVP. Look at the man. Real happy on the side over there. Andrew Wiggins retired. Wait, hold on. I was the first I was like, oh, hold on now. Nah, I gotta say Julius Randle and end myself, you know, cut off myself mid Andrew Wiggins sentence. But then I also saw Frank Nilakina retire. Matter of fact, shout out to Frank. This man's on a 16 year career. I don't know if 2K is supposed to favor this man like that. Oh man, my guy, man, he held in strong. He really should hold in strong. He's like, you know how Andre Roberson was on teams with no shooting for all those years? He's like Andre Roberson defense, but with like incredible, you know, if given the chance, three point shooting baby. I think he shot like 40, 50% from the corner three last year. So that's good enough. Isaiah Thomas, he re-signed on a three-year $110 million deal, unless he re-signed last year and I didn't even notice. We also have Gene Stevens now, a six foot four point guard. So that's definitely, once again, a conflict of whatever the hell. And Isaiah Thomas, you're probably gonna be hitting the bench this year, but it's okay. You're 85 overall, 35 year old. Let, let's see what you do on the bench. Gene Stevens, you ready to try and carry this team? I mean, I, hey, I'll take any good talent on this basketball team. We haven't made the playoffs in a couple of years. Now, you know what I mean? Isaiah's got a couple accolades. I'm trying to see us win season number 14 if i'm not mistaken Jalen green's still an all-star starter but of course isaiah's not here anymore because he's off the bench still right yep isaiah's benched and uh, hey leguence isaiah's still averaging 22 off the bench and actually we're six in the conference so gene is definitely bringing some solid contributions although i just saw sacramento's like 15 wins better than everybody luca how many M i feel like it's been pretty you know i mean we've actually had some pretty good variety in like past simulations but no instead luca said hey let me win MV every single mvp the entire video isaiah thomas six minute of the year of course why did i not expect this 20 two and eight a game. I forgot he could even, you know what I mean? Just
just win win this award that's good though i like this yeah 22 and 8 on 49 percent from the field 46 from three sounds good to me ben simmons dpoy and jacob park hello of course no all nba we're not surprised there no none uh let's see okay cool we're third in the conference though 46 and 36 gene stevens jalen green against wayne cooper and kevin porter jr obviously isaiah's off the bench because he's isaiah and he's good oh man we won 42 isaiah thomas 17 points in the last game 24 over the series 56 percent beautiful is this final year we shall see well we're the third seed versus the second seed memphis grizzlies and uh they got calbert the, the guy who just won finals mvp let's see oh man we lost jalen green 37 isaiah 29 he averaged 23 over the playoff run at a game with 18 on five for 16 in a game of uh just about every other game is actually pretty good so a solid contribution from him but aside from that uh yeah team loss actually averaged more points than gene and the boston celtics win it led by mr Doncic, of course atlanta's finest retired isaiah thomas 82 overall 36 year old man 15th year pro incoming gene stevens two-time all-star they say kate connor i mean did it just say that kobe i was only a three-time all-star because that would be nuts earl buford the most viable player i love it lucas lucas coach of the year again and hold on all nba teams obviously it's time has probably passed but um we made the playoffs we were fourth in the conference with 49 wins isaiah thomas oh they traded him hold on where did they trade my guy isaiah thomas got traded for precious and precious was back on the heat oh man and isaiah oh god he's shooting 42 percent from the field what could have went wrong he's behind darius garland in miami and now precious is over here in utah this is weird let's see yep they were 30 and 52 oh my god oh as now uh oh wait did i where, where did uh utah still got eliminated in the first round but um you know maybe if you kept isaiah that would have changed earl buford finals mvp leguentz retired i won't lie i kind of do enjoy how like i just saw kevin knox retired after 17 years i feel like 2k used to make him retire after like three and like whatever team he was on would just release him so maybe they improved in that aspect i don't know isaiah is an 80 overall one year left on his 40 million dollar contract season number 16 but yeah it's like at a certain point like all right yeah cool the video's still gonna be probably good regardless i'll make it happen whatever but you know change some sliders maybe help maybe that it's actually because i changed sliders that's why this that, that's why you know players are retiring at a proper time so i can't even actually maybe even contribute that to 2k who the hell knows as we're currently 6 and 20 so i should probably just shut the hell up and let us lose earl buford most viable player again bill bano oh man hello bill bano we were awful 22 wins is awful we missed the playoffs i'll check it stats in a second first and foremost though rj gray the finals mvp it is oh my god he got traded again wait no he didn't no what what is wrong with me he's right here 16 points per game did he start i don't know i don't think so i bet darius garland started but he still averaged more points though he's gonna get his bucket but the buckets came to uh no no whatever no reason i guess to no reason at all the score because your team still sucked anyway roku percassin retired isaiah left the team or maybe he just didn't sign anywhere isaiah thomas is oh, oh man he's on the washington wizards oh boy this is real life all over again yep and he's a 77 overall too which means he uh, he's gonna be like the fourth or th no he's gonna be the second best point guard in this rotation actually he still might start that's actually incredible season number 17 he still has hall of fame dimer hall of fame clutch shooter and hall of fame volume shooter but he lost his rebound wait what type of deal did he sign here i would assume it's just a minimum right uh 114 million of course is that just the new minimum 20 years from now i guess it's possible because the minimum like 20 years ago was probably 14 dollars over here looking at the weather and it's saying oh man i mean you know i'm in new york and it says winter storm until 8 p like like it, you, the entire day like right now i'm recording this at at 10 52 p.m the day prior it says it's gonna be going for like another 24 hours and then another day after that and then it says three more days later in the week like dog i would have actually been excited to sell if i was still in school although actually now in school they probably be like yo just hop on the online class oh wow yo, you gotta be pissed if you're still in school Kate cunningham mvp yada yada great 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 josh longstaff coach of the year used to be a former knicks assistant pandazi's pasta zaglu oh man i wonder whose name at 2k was pasta Z wait hold on wizards 54 wins what is isaiah starting oh my god he is 15 points a game on 40 percent shooting he might have been on and off with the bench or whatever uh let's see 65 games started shay is here though i didn't even look at the rest of the team honestly i have zero recollection of ever looking at the team i just knew that isaiah was here and he's old and that's about it but first round we're playing brooklyn no way in hell i should know any of these players in this team although i'll look anyways nope i know absolutely nobody and they also have benched it again and guess what we're down 2-0 and we just tied it 2-2 and now we're up 3-2 and we just won 4-2 wow cleveland second round isaiah versus garrett mcmillan and uh ha harry wright foreman as the center okay uh sure can we win this round oh my god we won i actually said oh my god we won before we even won because i just thought we would maybe 
seed, but uh, yeah, we won. Isaiah had 34 and 10 in game seven to make his first ever conference finals. Okay, this is the first really cool thing that happened because this man finally had an opportunity to make the conference finals and he just bugged the hell out. And a 76 overall gave this team buckets on Stuart Curry, the fake Steph, the fake Seth, the fake Dell. I don't know, the fake anybody, the fake Riley Curry. Now we're playing Stevie Drew, Pandazis, Pasta Zaglu, and Gene Jones. Game one is a loss. Game two is a win. Game three is a win. Game four is a loss. Game five is a loss. Oh boy, Isaiah, he had 29 on nine for 17. I'm telling you, know, this is like the best old man play I've ever seen. He did have 12 on two for 13 and four and 11 on four for 15, but we won't talk about it. Come on, dog. Old man IT forced this game seven. Oh my God, he's going to do it. He forced the game seven. Oh my, Shea had 45. I Isaiah 23 and 10. It's working beautifully. A game seven in Toronto, please. Look, honestly, this is the best playoff run yet. We're in like season 17. I'll take it either way. Yeah, we're going to lose. We're just going to lose. It's just, that, that's just, that's just the sad dilemma here. But you know what, IT, you show me that despite the fact that I don't even know there was a lot of variables with this, you're on like 14 different teams. I don't know what to pinpoint as the issue in this. Nonetheless, though, you were ready for prime time regardless of the circumstance. And well, uh, when you, the circumstance came, you had 10 points and 13 assists on three for 10 shooting in the game seven, but that's okay. Last game seven, though, you were a one and the Mavericks won the ring led by Vince Goodwin. And that is officially going to do it. After 16 years pro at 39 years old, as I'm actually for the sake of uh, finding his name quicker when I'm doing stuff, I'm just going to throw in the hyphen now. I know I didn't do it until later on, but it's okay because obviously in real life, Isaiah is 31, I think. So he didn't, you know, I mean, we're not going to be able to, well, I mean, actually there is another Isaiah Thomas though, but it's spelled different. That is officially going to do it after 16 or actually 17 years pro. We know how 2K is. At 39 years old, Isaiah Thomas, as you can see by his play right there, goes out with a smile. He had a nice valiant effort to make his way to the seventh game of the conference finals. Never a finals appearance, but nonetheless, let's just go over the stats real quick. For his career, he averaged 22 points, eight assists, one steal, 48 from the field, 43 from three, 87 from free throw, 423 double doubles from the man with Hall of Fame Dimer. He actually only started in 836 out of 1318 games played. A pretty long string of starting all of them, but you know, his first season, 0 out of 5, 0 out of 82, 4 for 82, 29 for 82. It's kind of an interesting, it's honestly one of the more interesting careers we've had, despite the lack of playoff. I mean, whatever, I guess that makes it interesting too. I don't know. I'm actually really, really not mad at it for some reason. Now for the records, let's see. So Isaiah Tom, okay, so he had 28,662 points. I was having some trouble finding him and here he is. Oh, great. The hyphen didn't even pop up after I added it. It's all good though. 28,662 is a couple more than Shaquille. Obviously more so, uh, you know, like we can compare him like Alexej Pukazevsky since injuries are off of court. Hey, pretty solid standing over Patrick Williams, Jaron Jackson, hello, Carmelo. Stephen Curry is close, you know, in front of him. That's a solid little outing for him. He finished 56th in field goals made, 33rd in threes made, 4,255. 21st all-time in assists with 10,726, right above Steve Nash. A valiant effort with 1,527 steals for the short man. I mean, I guess he is closer to the ground. That was one of Muggsy's things. I mentioned him earlier. He had 41 40-point games, 45th in NBA history, as well as one 50-point game, which puts him tied at 74th to everybody else with one 50-point game. A rare simulation where Michael Jordan's 63-point score was never actually broken. And now, game highs, he scored 55 in a uh, in a regular season game. He was on too many teams, not about to sift through all of them to try and find his playoff high. Made 12 threes in a game, 18 field goals. Uh, let's see, eight rebounds. Oh, man. 21 assists, six steals, an astounding two blocks, 47 minutes played. And for his award history, he was a six-time All-Star, one first-team All-NBA, one third-team All-NBA, one sixth man of the year. Is this a Hall of Fame resume? You can let me know in the comments if this uh, he appointed or disappointed to, the, to your expectations. Do you think he'd kind of just have like a resume like this and have like a cool little career where he scores a lot of points and we have fun with it? Or do you think he would actually become like Derrick Rose? I don't know. You let me know. You know, because his comparison at the beginning was Derrick Rose for some reason. At least, you know, have like a 10-year, like a, you know, uninjured Derrick Rose. It is, it is kind of ironic now that I think about it that he was compared to Derrick Rose, right? Or coincidental because, you know, I mean, injuries. Yeah, sadly. I just would have liked some rings in this resume, but that's about it. I mean, everything else, I'm kind of cool. Some more all-star appearances, maybe give me like nine of those. Give me some more all NBA teams. But yeah, I didn't really expect too much out of that considering the rebound, you know, or just in general, no defense, no rebounding. Yeah. But is this a hall of fame resume? Let me, let, let's see. Let's see. Yep. Isaiah Thomas ends the, uh, enters the hall of fame of, uh, 2038, the class of 2038 in real life. They probably delay it by like five years or something like they normally do. But yeah, I kind of suspect that he would still make it because a lot of his records are still pretty high up. Like, you know, top, what was it? 30 in scoring or top 40, top 21 in assists. I think he was 20. 
21st, right? Yeah, that's pretty good. And it only in 17 years played as well with a couple years that he barely played at all. Uh, any jersey retirements for the man himself? No, actually. No no teams he stood long enough on to get his jersey retired. Or did he have much really success either in terms of winning? Washington, what about you just retire his jersey for the hell of it? So kind of match Chicago won those two rings after he left. But uh, yeah, that is officially going to do it. Thank you for watching. You can like and subscribe to the channel if you care about my channel at all. On there, I got much else to say. Shout out to Isaiah. I could understand why teams probably don't want to sign. Obviously, he's always an injury concern. But aside from that, you know, defense. But it's still be cool to see him back in the NBA if the, the opportunity presented itself, of course. He's always going to be able to give you like one really cool 30 point game like once a month or something. Shout out to uh, Jalen Green. Shout out to Dogecoin. But yeah, one other thing. I keep watching. Uh, if I do, you know what I mean? I, I forget that I forget to tell people to turn on like the, if you're still here at this point in the video, turn on the notification bell thing if you want to like, you know what I mean? Get it like, yeah. you got a cool little alert to your phone whenever I upload things and turn on notifications in your YouTube app and then yeah, great, whatever. And I'm going to get the hell up out of here. Bye.